Hi everyone, today I'm getting started to just show everybody what it's going to look like for our family formation, particularly family program, during our virtual sessions. I would really highly recommend that uh, you just listen to this video and then you can kind of go back and explore yourself. Uh, this video is going to be up on YouTube, so you can always come back and reference it later. So to begin with, we're just going to start with a short prayer. I think prayer during a time like this that the numbers are going up and it just seems really like it's not going away anytime soon. You know, there's talk about a vaccine, but it's way in the future and we still have the holidays to get through. So kind of a stressful time for people. So we're going to just start with a prayer and then I'm going to go through and walk you through everything. So in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, thank you for everyone who is here and who is listening to this. We pray for the health and safety of the families at our parish and particularly those who are listening to this. We pray that you give us the grace and the strength to do what needs to be done. Um, we honor you and we just ask that during this time, you just bless the socks off of all of these families, help them to grow to know you and to love you and to be a light in the darkness. And we pray this uh, in the intercession of our Blessed Mother as we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. So I want to start by saying, um, if I cough, it's because I have crazy bad allergies. And having really bad allergies during a pandemic is really not fun. Um, I'm not sick or anything. It's just sinus stuff. Um, and so I want to also, uh, the next major thing I want to talk about is the whole, um, the whole reason why we're moving. Again, this is due to keeping our staff safe and keeping our building sanitized. It's not because uh, Mass is still really good to go to. If you're going to Mass, please continue. Um, if you're not going to Mass um, and you feel comfortable, like maybe it, it'd be okay, this is a good time to go. We have a lot of safety protocols in there. We just got an email from the Archbishop today saying that there's been very little, um, con uh, like people are not getting sick from going to Mass is what I'm trying to say. So very little, pretty safe. We do a lot to keep it safe. That's why it's safe. Um, the classes, it's more of uh, a, a scheduling situation and a administrative situation than it is a, um, cleaning situation or keeping people safe situation. We're able to clean, we're able to keep people safe from math, so please feel comfortable doing that. Um, the other thing is, I really believe strongly that God has great plans for us during this time. Um, please don't waste it. I think God's just trying to get our attention, among other things. So please, 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 please prayerfully consider doing this stuff at home. I'm hoping that there's people who aren't just in family program listening to this or home formation listening to this, but people who have chosen to weaken our edge. I do think that this is the time where God is calling families to know him. Um, and I just think about, you know, God established, God could have come in any way to this planet. We're about to enter as it. God could have chosen to come to this world anyway. He could have chosen to make our species continue on in any way, but he chose to use a family to do it. It's not just because it's fun and it's easy and it's whatever. Actually, it's hard. I know that. And there are times it's not fun. And God still looks at this and he sees, he's, he's blessed the family to be this image of the, of the Trinity with the father and the mother and the children. Just emulate the, the existence in the family of the, of the Trinity with the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. God has so much in store for all of us this year. I really believe it can be a blessing. Not that it's not, not that it's easy, but that it's a blessing. So I'm going to share my screen with you. Um, so you're going to be looking at my screen and I'm going to show you, actually before I do that, um, I'm going to be showing you a couple different things. One of the things I'm going to be showing you will be um, my, the email. And you might ask, well, Karen, I get the email. Um, part of that is because it's going to look a little bit different right now um, because I'm going to be adding, 
I'm going to be adding uh, a, sec a, a, sec a section where your lessons will be emailed. The lessons for uh, the um, family face formation at home have been given via the, um, the email because uh, if I put it on the website, um, people are paying for this. So I just want to be just and have it be if you're paying for it, you get everything. Now people could still stumble across this, likely won't, but could stumble across this and use some of it. So I want to start off with, this is my normal lesson email. Always first thing you're going to see after you get rid of the preliminary stuff, normally I don't have a video of myself up there, um, family face content, content for November. So you can click on that and it will take you to the web page that will have all of the lessons uh, all of the materials for the lesson, not the lessons themselves, but everything else you need. Again, I have here um, the, formed, uh, the formed website information, helpful hints, and I'll, I'll show you this web page. I'm not going to click on anything here. I'm going to navigate through our web page. And the reason I'm doing that is my computer is really full. So uh, I would recommend getting a formed account you have the information right here. Um, and if you still have trouble making an account, please email me and I will send you some other further detailed uh, instructions for those who need it. Um, a lot of this email is going to look similar to what you've been getting, except for now, it's going to be first lesson of the month and then second lesson of the month. I only do two lessons a month. And when you click on this, you can download it and print it. Um, and go from there. I do not have a way to hyperlink the lessons to uh, the website. I, I haven't been able to figure out how to do that just yet because of the I'm using different uh, uh, programming to do this. Um, so here is so again just the lesson gives you everything you need for the lesson. Um, you will notice it is longer than the ones that I have in class, and that's because I don't live with you, so you have to go through and have all of the things written out so you can do it with your family. There's nothing else there that's different, just where the lesson is. Um, next month will be only one lesson, so December has only one lesson. I would highly recommend, though, you do the stuff here for uh, your what's coming up in the liturgical year calendar during that month because there's so much stuff going on in that season of Advent is very rich and there's so many things that you can do for kids across all of the ages and some of them are great for even older kids like the Jesse tree I think is great even for the older kids because it does go through the whole story of salvation history um, or the way God chose to call us back to himself. Um, I think at the very bottom of this is where you see yep you see the Advent sheets um, so this is the one ahead of Advent, and this is the one for different traditions during Advent. There are tons of traditions, so they're just the ones that I've distilled. So just keeping that in mind um, for coming forward, taking the time, choosing something as a family. Um, again, lesson will take you where you need to go for the, for the getting the lesson, I should say. And then again, here, helpful hints will take you to a page that will help you be able to um, have different ideas on how to navigate doing faith formation at home. Some of this material is also stuff that I've given out to my catechist. Um, so it's for it's both and. And then to get to the link, the page that has all the con content, you would click this link right here. So now I'm going to take you to the web page. This is the overall website that I have where we have all of our lessons for all of our different classes. Um, we have Edge for Middle School, Awaken for our first through fifth graders. We do not have CGS. Uh, the reason that is is CGS is such a specialized program. There isn't really a good way for me to put it online. Um, so I don't. So Family of Faith is where you're going to find all of our lessons for family formation. Our family and for specific for the family program. Um, so the kids classes would be coming from here, but we are talking about the family portion. So the family portion, um, you would select whatever month you're in. Um, I'm going to just go to November. I'm almost done with getting everything up in November. So you're going to, so there's a lot on there that uh, if you haven't 
checked this website out before and you're a home formation person, you're going to notice there's a lot more on there. So uh, I did put a little disclaimer for why we have so many videos this month. Um, we're covering so much of the Bible. I can't do it in any other way. It's like 38 chapters of the Bible we're going through in two classes. Um, and they're long stories. So I just, obviously, I had to make a decision somewhere. So just like in you know, just like you've been having, you have the video, the worksheets are over here, everything is here. I generally will put what you need ahead of time. Um, you know, Bible, way to watch the video, lesson, which is in the email. I'll always have that in parentheses, just reminding you the lessons will be found there. Um, Bible detective worksheets, which are over here. Uh, optional, you can create a start run of it for those of you who did it. Um, this is not a, really an act, a, a craft for little kids. This is a craft for adults to do on behalf of the kids to kind of talk about how the star that doesn't look like much, but then God does something and it becomes more. Um, so kind of the thought behind it. So Jacob is our next lesson. I have a little bit of a hot mess going here, so I'll be fixing that. Um, but again, you will need different activities. The worksheet that hasn't, I'm not done with the Bible Detectives worksheet for that. That's one of the last things. Um, my goal is to hope people feel really comfortable with the Bible afterwards. So again, I do have my own video. And then the story of Joseph, I am pilfering from the YouTube, from the movie Joseph, King of Dreams. I highly recommend just taking the time to watch the whole movie as a family. It would be a great family movie night. We also have one end formed called Joseph, the beloved son, exalted father, uh, beloved son, rejected slave, exalted ruler. So that's on form. That's free. Uh, Joseph, King of Dreams, you'd have to pay to rent or buy. I would, I would suggest rent, obviously. But both the story is such a great story that I can't stress enough. Um, we watch hero stories with, um, you know, Superman, Batman, and all that stuff. Why not share some of our stories from our faith as well? These stories are great. They're done well. Um, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of uh, the King of Dreams, um, but both are really good. And again, down here you have the the typical year. So it's really very straightforward. Um, these are part of the extension activities or after activities. I would recommend doing them. They can be a very prayer-filled experience. Um, I personally really like this one down here with the cross and Jesus and the Sacred Heart um, because it really gets a cross because on the, the cross you're running different sins and they don't have to be your personal sins. But it could be like, maybe it's a personal sin in the sense that it's a category of a personal sin. You might write gossip, not that you're writing what your gossip was, but you're talking about the gossip, the way you gossip about other people or stuff. Um, I did try to make this very kid oriented when I wrote it. So just take a look and look at it. Um, but to be honest, these are all things that like not taking time to pray. That's something I sometimes struggle with still, even after over 20 some years of walking with Jesus. So those are still things that when I'm writing them down, like, oh yeah, that's a sin that belongs on this cross. And really just something very meditative. Um, the story of Joseph is always connected to his coat. Um, it's a great, uh, great little activity to kind of just see what do the kids remember from the story. I had a lot of fun coloring it. Um, that was what I did yesterday. Um, but just a really kind of a nice way to kind of think about the story and also in a, in a very real way about how God just fulfills his promises continually to us. So it's a really great way. Um, one of the things I'm suggesting as a family challenge activity is to go to confession. Um, December 7th is our parish-wide uh, communal reconciliation. So you go, go to a little prayer service and then go to individual reconciliation afterwards. We're working on keeping uh, everybody safe. A lot of the priests that are coming for that are elderly, so we're definitely making sure to keep everything healthy and safe because the priests need to be able to be healthy. Um, they are in that at-risk category. We want to keep our priests as healthy as possible. Um, so, but there here are some examination of consciences from one for adults, one for young adults, which is very like high school, middle school-ish. 
and then the one for, for children, which is the one that we use for first reconciliation. Um, I cannot recommend enough doing this kind of stuff because uh, as we get ready for Advent, we want to have room for Jesus. So moving on to another page on this thing, on this page, page uh, this page, you can click on, for instance, we're looking at our email, you can click on the helpful hints, but helpful hints is also under family of faith. And again, some of these things are very, very much related to our um, catechists as well as our families. So um, if you feel really like you're lacking in confidence in finding a book in the Bible, this video does walk us through it pretty easily. Um, it's no words, it's just like explanation, paying attention. So it's really for the adults and older kids. Um, you have to be able to read to be able to appreciate this video. Um, and then when we come down here, we have some tips from the peanut gallery. So like how to pray out loud um, with your family. And then this is an actual example of my friend Margaret and I leading prayer to, with for one another. Um, so other resources we have, these images are all if you click on the image, you'll get the, the, the thing to download. So from talking about faith, in particular with kids, um, I feel like that's a very important thing to uh, make sure you look at if you feel uncomfortable. Some people I, I know who are doing this do not have a problem with it, but just in case you feel like parents out there to coach us, what do I do? Please take a look at this. Um, creating a sense of belonging. I don't really worry about that with most of our families in our parish. This is definitely it. it it's for our, our small groups, but I don't think it hurts to look at it. Um, and I'm just going to kind of come down here. Um, formation at home. I'm going to have this in the email that goes out, uh, or it's in this email that has gone out, so you'll see it there. Um, and then meaningful service. This is a little bit harder to do right now in the time of COVID. And one of the most important things to do is to continually pray. Um, it, everything we do, its effectiveness for the Lord is connected to how well we are remaining in him and abiding in him and living in him. So the more you pray, the better you're going to be equipped to share faith, with, faith formation with your children. Scrolling down, we have this <laughs> spiritual tip, tips from Sister Philippa, who's a character in a book that I read this fall. Um, House of Breed, in this House of Breed, highly recommended, by the way. But this is uh, just um, some just some basic ideas like how to how to um, continue your own growth for faith, because we, like I said, we need you to do it. So from talking about the Rosary to the life of prayer, choosing a Bible, Lexio Divina, which means literally um, praying with Scripture, divine reading. Um, the 1% challenge is a really is like an abbreviated version of it. And I know I've talked a lot about it in previous years. For those of you who have been a part of our program for a while, cannot say enough good stuff about it. And then if you don't have a Bible and you want to know, like, how do you choose a Bible? Because I've had people ask me that. Here's like what I look for, um, the things I look at. Um, so all these resources are here for you um, and for families. Please don't not take advantage of them. Um, I really like this fryer. I have a special place in my heart for Franciscan friars. Um, that order is Franciscan Friars of the Renewal. I went to a Franciscan University, so I have a special love for Franciscan friars. So, he, and he gives some really good advice on praying with scripture. Uh, it is not a short video. It's not super long. It's like 10 minutes, so it's not a super long one. But that will also give you some really great, like, feedback on how to do good prayer. Um, Again, this sheet is like the cheat sheet for what he's going to tell you. Um, anyway, um, so this is what I have available for families. I'm also your uh, happy, happy to serve child and family minister. So please do not hesitate to ask me for help or ask me for ideas. Um, families who are doing First Communion this year do have to send me the the, their children's work. Um, I do have to kind of sign off saying that these children have been prepared for First Communion and our classes are part of that prep, preparation. So I do need you to send me, like you can just be a picture of their, their worksheet or with them with the worksheet. And I would actually love that from everyone just because it's fun to see. Um, I think 
I love seeing kids work and we don't do a lot right now to, or I'm not keeping a lot right now to put on the walls. So it's nice to see it. Um, one of these days I might share some of the pictures with our um, bulletin just so people know kids are still here, still learning, still growing in their faith. And again, we worship a God that does not waste anything. So this time that seems so um, difficult, so everything, God is in the midst of it, and he desires more than anything to make us whole, to bring us back to life. And I think the fact that we have this disease that's causing so much uh, sickness and in some cases death, I think it's just a reminder that as important as our physical health is, our spiritual health is even more important. We're not people who it's the body over the soul or the soul over the body. We're both and. And God wants our hearts more than he wants anything else. And even though we're both and, I would say we're oh, our, our spirit above everything else. Because no matter what, our body is going to die. Our souls live forever. And as a woman I used to work with and when I was in college said, or grad school said, you're dead a lot longer than you're alive. So where is it we want our lives to be? We have a God that was willing to trans, you know, travel from heaven to earth from earth to the cross, from the cross to the grave and to the grave back up to heaven just to be able to bring us back to him. When we receive the sacraments, it's like we are drawing God's grace, God's divinity into our very life. And we're becoming more and more like him. We're becoming united with him. Um, marriage is the number one way they describe um, relationship with God and man in scripture. And it's even more like what God desires for us is even more intimate and more close than marriage. He desires for us to be with him for eternity. And I think this is a perfect year to really focus on family and growing your faith together. I am praying for you every day. Uh, we pray a rosary almost every day at work. Um, our parent parishioners are lifted up in that. And particularly, you're lifted up in my heart during that time. And um, just know that we're praying for you. We love you, and I cannot wait to see you all again. God bless. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen.